reported that the anthrax had nothing at all to do with Muslim terrorists and it already wants you to stop, think, and connect about the problems of cybersecurity in this increasingly online world. A decade ago, in the wake of the 9-11 attacks, a series of anthrax mailings, widely blamed on Al-Qaeda, cowed Congress into voting for the Patriot Act, the single greatest evisceration of the Bill of Rights in American history. After the passage of the Patriot Act, it was quietly reported that the anthrax had nothing at all to do with Muslim terrorists and in fact came from the U.S. government's own laboratories at Fort Detrick. Now, in this age of cyber terror, famed Harvard law professor Lawrence Lessig revealed that there was in fact a cyber equivalent of the Patriot Act already on the shelf and waiting for the Internet 9-11. Um, there's going to be an I-9-11 event, which doesn't mean an Al-Qaeda event. So I, I had dinner once, and Richard Clark was at the, at, this ta at the table, and I said to him, is there an equivalent? Is there a Patriot Act, an I-Patriot Act, just sitting waiting for some substantial event for them to come in and have an excuse for radically changing, uh, uh, radically changing the way the internet works? And he said, of course there is. Given this information, how can responsible citizens not question the motivations and intentions of government agencies who in fact stand to benefit from the very cataclysmic events that they themselves are in the best position to create, foster, or allow? Stop homeland security fear-mongering. Think about cyber false flag terrorism. Connect the dots. This has been a public service announcement from CorbettReport.com. This video is